Hey everyone, this is Elise from Cycle 9. So one of the most common questions I get when uh, people are looking at electric bikes and are not familiar with them is, does the bike um, charge as you pedal? And does it have regenerative braking? And these are both questions that may seem obvious um, because we're kind of steeped in this wisdom of regenerative braking from the whole uh, hybrid and electric cars. But the answer really is that no, and because it doesn't really make sense for, um, for a bike. Let's just take regenerative braking, for example. Um, on a car, you, a car is pretty heavy and it has a lot of momentum, and regenerative braking essentially just takes that momentum and stores some energy um, as you're slowing down. It stores that energy. Um, so it transfers momentum into energy storage. Uh, however, on a bike, you don't have very much weight and generally you're going at low speeds compared to a car so um, because momentum squares increases as you go up um, you actually have not very much momentum um, on a bike compared to a car to start with. Um, take that into account and then also bicyclists are very good at using momentum to help them ride more so for example if you ride a bike I'm sure you're familiar with the rolling stop when you come to a stop sign, you know, you, you kind of look both ways and probably don't stop all the way. You kind of maintain a little bit of momentum as you go through the intersection and that really helps you get going again. So um, not only are you, are you not, do you not have as much momentum, you're generally preserving a little bit of it as you're riding um, and that, that wouldn't be going back into the battery. Um, in order to create regenerative braking um, on a motor used an electric bike, uh, one other issue is that you often have to have a motor that has a slight amount of drag on it, um, even when you're not using it. So since on a bike we spend a lot of time pedaling without the motor or coasting, um, on both of these cases if there is a little bit of drag, even a small amount of drag, um, that would be energy that would be lost. So it's better to just have a motor without that drag that doesn't have the regenerative capabilities. The other question I get related to this is, um, does the battery charge while you're pedaling? And while this might seem like a good idea, uh, once people think about it, they realize that, no, you really can't get energy for nothing. And if you're going to be charging the battery while you're pedaling, that means you're going to be pedaling harder. And now most people prefer that all of their pedaling effort goes to moving the bike and themselves forward and they just use the motor as an assist to increase that movement rather than um, having their pedaling go to recharging the battery because obviously it's going to be harder to pedal if you're also putting energy back into a battery in, in addition to moving forward. Um, so those are two common questions that uh, often come up. Um, I'm going to include below a link to um, a couple of articles that really kind of go into this regenerative braking question in detail um, if you want to read more and find out all kinds of calculations they've done and things like that uh, check out a couple of the links below and uh, we'll see you tomorrow thanks